unhappy with the iPhone photo leak of the Batmobile from the uh, movie set, Zack Snyder released his own official image of the Batmobile. Let's take a look. And you may notice uh, prominently on the hood appears to be machine guns, guns of some sort. Many people aren't pleased with this aspect. Uh, what do you think of the new Batmobile design? Uh, it looks really American. <laughs> it looks as American. Do you mean American or American? It looks American as fuck, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, Zack Snyder, you know, he's he's got really good imagery. And uh -huh. it, I think it looks like a beast. It looks like a beast. It, it looks badass. I, I, it's the guns. You like the it's guns? It's got guns. See, a lot of people have been saying, well, the criticism to this is uh, Batman has a no-kill policy, and it seems pretty messy to put a hood-mounted machine gun on the on the car. Okay, but we know when Batman uses his guns, he uses it to shoot down like buildings so he can drive through them easier. Yes, he has. Now, to should he be driving through buildings? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> But then again, Maybe Superman was flinging damage. people through buildings and destroying everything around him, what, too. What, you mean a Man of Steel? Yeah, Man of I Steel. I have other problems with Man of Steel. I think <laughs> there are issues to be had with uh, Zack Snyder movies. Maybe this isn't the be the, the worst offense or, or most negative I thing. I guarantee you he's going to be shooting that gun and driving through buildings. Instead he's not going to shoot anybody. But like, he's gonna... there's a guy. You know? No, he, nah, he's not gonna GTA anybody. He's just gonna probably like see a building and shoot shoot like the pillars out and then ride through it. And there might be people in there. Who knows? I mean, there were like I said, a lot of people in the buildings when Man of Steel was like seen, flying through them. So Man of Steel had severe issues with their portrayal of Superman and what he's about. And really? I think so. I think he was portrayed as more of a child uh, than a, a person who cares about humanity and, and has a, a certain morals that are hard to stick to. Oh, yeah. But that is way <clears throat> off topic. Batmobile! Okay, so, doesn't it seem a it's little easy. strange um, that Batman is kind of a brainy detective, right? Yeah. That's his, that's one of the core aspects of him. Does it mm -hmm. seem strange to ma mount uh, a gun on the hood, but also you also have to consider on the other side. This is not the first time there has been a gun on the yeah, Batmobile. There's, it's appeared in movies. If have you played Arkham Knight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a prominent there, gun on yeah. the, on that car. Definitely. I mean, it's one of those things where, I guess, if you are Batman and you are, you know, a vigilant who's trying to, or a vigilante who's trying to protect people, you want to be prepared in any case. Anything can happen. You want to be prepared for it. You know, mm -hmm. so. Why, it's better to be caught with them than without them. And maybe that's why Batman has the guns on his car. Uh, well, you know, he's not super powered like Superman. Exactly. Maybe they're non-lethal guns, or maybe like they, you said it's more for like uh, yeah, maybe environmental they purposes. Maybe they shoot kryptonite tranquilizers. And you know, when he does come across Superman, and if they're fighting in some capacity, he can shoot them with the tranquilizers. And that's what was in the gun the entire time, internet, shut up. Whoa. I think it's fair to be a little dubious. <laughs> no, no, it least. definitely is. I I'm mean... just messing. I'm trolling. <laughs> it's definitely. It, I, I understand people's concerns. Like, yeah. I always, I always think like Batman needs to be like you know for justice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Oh. I just think it's better that he has them and then doesn't have them. And it is kind of sad that like. <clears throat> I wish they would have, like, if he did have those guns, it would have been a surprise, and maybe, like, during the movie, they would have just pop out. Pop, popped out instead of just having them in the picture, because now... But I think this is a talking point. That's probably why they did it, so we would be talking about it. Yeah, right but it just... Okay, maybe I would understand if it were in someone else's hands, but Zack Snyder has been... He's been messy with the characters. He, yeah. he hasn't always done things in a way that I felt was true. Though, you know, you can also argue that comic book movies don't have to follow comic books, mm -hmm. and it, it can be considered AU. But I think that's where a lot of people are, like, dubious about this. Yeah. It's, what, what are you doing with those, Zack Snyder? What, what plans do you have for those? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I trust you fully. Yeah, well, uh, maybe they think that he's going to, like, sh do what I said and basically drop through buildings with it or shoot people. Or like a bad guy. Maybe he'll shoot like bad guys with it. There's you know? Two Face. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it, 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 it would probably be like henchmen. You know, the same ones that but he their like lives hangs. Are valuable and, too. Yeah. Well, like to Batman. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't think he should be shooting anybody. You know, or killing anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that that might be why they're there. Like, if there's like a flock of you know bad henchmen that are, he's, uh, you know, that are all shooting at his car and he'd have something to shoot back at him. Some kind of neutralizer. Yeah, or maybe he'll shoot like the building above them and the rocks would crumble down on top of them or something. And kill them. 
They won't say that though. And you and, 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 and unless you actually see them die on screen, it's not a death. So that only there counts it is. for important characters. I think. I don't know. Then all those Transformer movies had a lot of bodies then. Uh, yeah. Because. Oh, we're gonna talk about Michael Bay now? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I mean, well, like I say, even the last Superman, all those movies where that stuff happens, there's a lot of bodies that need to be accounted for. for. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Well, I think we're at an impasse about what it could possibly be. What do you think of the guns mounted on the Batmobile's hood? Are they for purposes of killing? Does it misunderstand Batman? Or have we misunderstood as the audience looking at a sneak peek of this movie that we haven't even seen anything about yet? What do you think? <laughs> Let us know below in the comments. And please support the show and subscribe.